there, it's me, Rama, and I'm demoing the latest rendition of my C++-based pathing system, jump pathing. So all of these jump calculations that the AI is doing are completely dynamic. I don't have anything in the editor to help me do these jumps for the AI. They're completely operating from nav mesh calculations. I'm using the navigation mesh system of UE4 and I'm running a whole bunch of calculations <laughs> I'm running a whole bunch of calculations that um, are just using the nav areas there's the the nav mesh is broken up into things called nav areas and I'm using all the nav areas to calculate what each jump should be and that's how that these units are doing this so this <laughs> this doesn't involve any um, anything in the editor it's completely dynamic. That's what all those little dots are showing, the green and the yellow, is I'm doing all of the jumping calculations. And look, they're doing it. So look at this complex terrain that they're jumping over here. So watch me do it. It's like, here's one jump, two jump, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven jumps that you and I would obviously know how to do easily, but now I've trained the AI to do it too. So this is just one small demo, and uh, I've been developing the system for a while. I had to put it on hold because I was busy with other things, but now I'm getting back to it. So look, look at them go. They're actually getting really good at this. Watch this guy. Did you see that? <laughs> so now I'm in the editor, and I just wanted to prove to you that I'm not using any hidden supportive agents to help me do this jump pathing. As you can see, there's just a navigation mesh volume. One volume! And that's it. The rest is actually just blocks. There's no jump path helpers at all. There's nothing at all. It's all C++ code. No other helpers at all. And I'm using the nav areas in C++ and that's it. So actually to prove that, you're going to watch me make a new set of jumps together. So we'll actually do that. Let's see, how are we going to do that? Let's add, uh, let's take these two and we'll stick them over here. And we'll just bring them down. And let's see, I think it's taking longer because I have the editor running and the uh, screen capture going. So we'll make a little jump path this way. Then we'll... So, you're, so I'm just proving that this is all dynamically calculated because you're going to watch me do it. And then you'll know for sure that I'm not doing anything extra that's hidden. I'm sure you believe me, <laughs> but I just wanted to prove it anyway. So let's make one more. One more. And maybe we'll make one over here. Uh, let's see. Actually, we might as well get all the way back over. This will be fun. Let's see if we can do this. Am I going to get in the way of anything? No, that should be fine. Alright, so we'll make one more. Come on, system, we can do this. Alright, we'll make one more. Alright, so this is like a whole bunch of jumps. Ready? Let's see if this works in the editor. So we have all of these jumps we're about to do. You just watch me make this. I actually don't know for sure if this is going to work. Let's find out. So I'm doing it myself. He looks like he's getting pretty far. Alright, so let's see if the AI can do this. Looks like he got stuck on something. Let's try another one. Let's see if he can do it. Come on, thing. <laughs> actually, you know what I'm going to do? This is all a continuous video shot, as you can see I'm not hiding anything. Let's do this from command line. I hadn't done any tests in the editor, so I'm not sure if there's any other interfering things. But as you can see, this is one continuous shot, so let's see if I can get them to work using my traditional testing ground. I always test from the command line because that's what you actually play in the final game. Nobody plays Pi in the final game. You're always playing from command line, which is the equivalent of standalone. So let's see what happens here. Come on, thing. 
Let's go. All right, let's get one of these fellows over here. And let's, oops. <laughs> and let's go. How you doing, dude? You doing all right? He seems fine. Come on, buddy, let's go. Oh, he fell. Where'd he go? He's trying again. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, and there he goes. <laughs> but as you can see, I'm not using any helpers. And uh, obviously I need to... Where'd he go? Oh, wow, what's he doing? I don't know what he's doing. Is he going to make it? I actually don't know what my AI is doing right now. I've never seen it. I didn't plan this, as you can tell, because I'm shocked and I'm recording this live. Whoa, what are you doing, dude? I don't, now he's going the other way. Oh, you know why? Because I randomly choose from all the different paths. Again, this is all C++ code and it's multi-threaded. Dude, they're just, <laughs> he's just, they have a little too much ambition. All right, hey, let's make some more. So as you can see, I didn't uh, hardwire any of this. It's just all, can any of them like not fly over the edge? Look, that one didn't, hey, it came. That one made it. So obviously I have some work to do on uh, how like, intensely they jump over edges but i'm not cheating this is all real it's all c plus plus code that obviously i need to do a little bit of refinement on how intensely they jump let's see what they do oh look look at that guy whoa they came the other way <laughs> so again all c plus plus code you just watched me make this additional set of jumps and I'm just using the nav areas and a bunch of C++ code to do this. This is Rama's jumping AI code. As you can tell, I've got lots of refinement to do, but this is what I have so far. I hope you've enjoyed it.